It's just after 10, scattered around the airport. There's seven of us getting ready to start. Should be fun. In today's lineup, we're going to have the gray Super RV4 leading, followed by two rockets, then an RV6A, two RV8s, and followed by an RV6. Well, the winds are calm down here, but it's pretty bumpy up above. I flew in earlier this morning and uh, it was pretty bumpy, especially across the mountains. Well, the plan today, with a rough air, is to take off as a three-ship, followed by a four-ship. We'll go out to the practice area, do a little air work. Then we'll uh, join up as a seven-ship momentarily before we drop down and do kind of a medium altitude, follow the leader through the mountains. Then join up again as a seven-ship, come up initially and land. Hope you'll come along with us. Okay, everyone's ready. Here we go. So that four ship behind us is just west of us uh, by a couple miles uh, heading northbound. I can't see them, but they should arrive at the practice area just about a minute behind us. Air is kind of rough up here this morning. We're hoping it'll smooth out, but it's forecast to get worse. Well, this is the south practice area where that four ship will be. We'll go a few minutes north and uh, do a couple echelon turns and then uh, some extended trail. Well, it's, it's with three airplanes, it's more just chase the guy in front of you. Then we'll go join up on the uh, four ship and take a scenic route home. Well, when we're done with this, we'll be doing a little three-ship chase, 
just to give you a little perspective since you'll be viewing through a camera lens, we'll use 500 to 1,000 foot separation, a 1,500 foot floor, which will be about um, 6,500 to 7,000 on the altimeter. Here we go. So far that camera setup on my left wing has been working pretty good. Might be bent a little bit. Here's what it looks like. Well, let's join up and swap leads and we'll go find that four ship in the south. Well, we're talking to the four ship that are south of us now orbiting just east of the lake at 7,000 feet. So we'll drop down to 6,500. It'll be much easier to look up and spot them today. So we've got the guys on ADSB. They're northbound. We call a right turn just before the merge. The intercept should work out nicely. Just like a tanker intercept, kind of feel like I should be confirming master arm switches in safe and air refueling door open right now. Those were good days. Well, as soon as we're all more or less lined up here, we'll start working our way down to lower altitude. Still kind of high for sightseeing, but if you check 11 o'clock against that white cloud, you see Leeds start his barrel roll. It's kind of fun to follow him through it. Good view here in number five position. Even better if you're number seven. Now there's a white rocket and the uh, gray Super 4 chasing me.
way up here now, but with a little back pressure, we get our nose tracking down about 20 degrees. We'd get back down to the ground in time for this next ridge crossing. And the neat thing about this is, as soon as you cross that ridge, the terrain drops away so quickly that you can go from low here to uh, really high on the other side. The reason that's important is here in the U.S., you need to be 1,500 feet above the ground to go upside down. So that's kind of how we run our scenic tours. We go in from high to low, kind of like a yo-yo or a roller coaster across the countryside. It's a nice way to start your day. Well, this is where we end our scenic tour. The four ship ahead of us is already starting to join up. As soon as three and four get a little bit closer, we'll pull up to the right wing. Then we'll uh, take our seven ship uh, formation up initial, pitch out, and land. I think you'll like this formation. Two RV6s on the left wing, RV8 behind the RV8, and on the right wing here it's uh, two rockets and a Super RV4. You'll see a better view here in just a moment. Well, that's the better view right there, our shadow on the ground. So it's been bumpy all morning. We'd hoped uh, it would smooth out as time went on. But the closer we get to the airport, the bumpier it's getting. finishing just in time. It's getting pretty bumpy. Looks like a little tailwind on that windsock. 